Hello, uh, my name is Anton Sitnikov. I work um, uh, at Exact Pro. I'm going to present our collaborative work uh, with High School of uh, Economics, uh, Moscow, named Building an Adaptive uh, Log Classification System. Uh, I um, work as a software architect um, uh, at Exact Pro. I'm responsible more on technical part, like development part uh, in this work. Uh, uh, I don't know, for some reasons, uh, the guys uh, who do re real research, uh, they are uh, constantly avoid to present, um, to, to the honor of presenting our work uh, on this matter. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with it, which I can see, but you will tell me uh, after I finish. Um, so first, uh, I want to uh, talk about uh, what we try to solve, what is the problem. Uh, uh, we as a software, comp uh, software uh, testing company, our goal is to test software. Uh, and a um, uh, big uh, part of information which software provides uh, during uh, its work is log files. Like 10, 15 years ago, log files uh, were rel relatively small. And a person uh, was able, a QA engineer was able just to look through files uh, and see if it's uh, something wrong. Uh, it uh, generally was like uh, opening uh, uh, this uh, log files uh, from uh, software system and uh, search uh, for some keyword like error and uh, if error is there, uh, it was easy, it, it just uh, was easy to uh, found this way. Uh, but uh, the complexity of the uh, software uh, uh, increase uh, during the time and now we uh, in the era where uh, we have um, clouds, uh, we have distributed applications uh, and uh, the data storage and cheap, so uh, the systems currently log just uh, enormous amount of information and uh, it's uh, absolutely impossible for a QA engineer to look through uh, these files. Uh, i give a few examples. Uh, um, um, we worked uh, with a um, uh, big system at early stage of uh, its development. We tested it uh, and uh, only a selection from this, the log files uh, which contains uh, word error per day was about um, uh, 20, uh, two, three hundred megabytes, just errors from the system. Uh, and uh, the uh, whole logs, uh, we can never measure how much um, uh, this. From other systems, we get uh, uh, amount of logs like uh, one uh, gigabyte uh, uh, per day. Uh, and uh, again, uh, the other uh, problem which um, uh, is which we currently observe again is uh, the distribution uh, and. Um, uh, a complexity of current systems. Uh, because uh, early, if we see error in log file, it was really error. And now uh, there's many errors which are just uh, a normal uh, life of the system. For example, if we start distributed system, uh, during the start uh, uh, of the system, these components try to find each other, try to connect each other, and uh, they may generate log. Uh, in lo uh, errors in log files, but uh, at some point uh, it still can't reach other component. But it's normal because it tries to reconnect and at some point uh, um, uh, uh, the system uh, become uh, uh, completely loads and uh, um, becomes ready to work. But in log files we still see errors and we need to distinguish uh, these uh, errors which are not really errors from uh, um, uh, real uh, problems uh, which uh, uh, we may have in software. Uh, I'll tell uh, a little bit more uh, from what, what we started. So of course, we, what we uh, started, uh, we tried to analyze all uh, these logs uh, and we tried to, to, try to feed uh, all these megabytes of uh, text data and um, clustering algorithms uh, like k-means, uh, but uh, uh, we obviously uh, failed uh, with that uh, because the amount of data was very big uh, and uh, um, the result uh, uh, from this approach uh, was not, not good, but in processing time of uh, this large uh, uh, sets um, uh, was very, um, very big. But uh, during this process, we learned uh, that uh, we need to do uh, some adjustment uh, to 
uh, input data because log files, uh, they may log, uh, look uh, as um, a native language because it's usually output um, in, in, in English. It, they really look like uh, some natural language um, uh, phrases, but uh, actually they are not. Uh, uh, there is classic approach uh, with um, um, clustering um, natural language like uh, um, entries is to uh, create um, uh, like back of words from uh, from the line uh, and in this case uh, we lose uh, the position on information but as logs are not really uh, natural uh, language um, uh, things uh, we need to we, uh, we uh, understood that we still need uh, to keep uh, this position information uh, in infor in uh, for our system to process uh, so instead of uh, uh, creating just uh, back of words, uh, we create a set of uh, words, uh, two grams and three grams, and such back. Uh, uh, we did uh, some research and it appears that uh, set mi mixture of um, uh, such one grams, uh, two grams and three grams, uh, uh, it um, uh, fits very well and um, allow to keep some positional information, but uh, still um, with reasonable amount of um, input data. Uh, uh, then um, uh, we realized that uh, of course we need to reduce uh, the amount of data we feed to clustering algorithms. Uh, so we decided that we need um, uh, some signature because uh, if you look at log uh, entries, uh, there are many um, uh, parts which are more like noise uh, for uh, clustering algorithms. There's timestamps, uh, there are many identifiers uh, like name of computer system uh, and uh, some uh, unique identifiers of records and so on. And so we uh, uh, decided uh, that we need to uh, clean up all this stuff uh, and uh, uh, keep only um, uh, needed information. Uh, we uh, perform this with uh, uh, regular expressions uh, and so we p initially we pre-process pre all these log files uh, and uh, we replace uh, timestamp, identifiers, uh, URL uh, and uh, some other entries uh, with uh, special words uh, which uh, are guaranteed not to be in, um, in the um, uh, log um, uh, and uh, we create uh, what we uh, name signatures and then uh, we fit only a stream of signatures to clustering algorithms. Uh, when we uh, uh, create uh, such uh, signatures, um, uh, again, we, it's, not, um, it's not enough to, uh, for a um, computer engineer to identify uh, the, the problem because um, uh, the same error may be um, may present in logs uh, in, in different varieties uh, or um, uh, when computer software evolves uh, some log entries may, may change a bit uh, so some probably it may be just correction of some typos in uh, English words it may uh, just uh, different phrase because uh, uh, the way uh, this uh, log entry is generated uh, changes a bit and so on. So we still need uh, uh, clustering above uh, the signatures um, and um, uh, uh, we uh, tried a um, couple of approaches uh, to, uh, to do it. Um, we started with Kamins because uh, it's what we uh, used uh, initially on big uh, amount and da on data, uh, but uh, we weren't um, uh, uh, very happy with the results of Kamins uh, uh, because um, um, Kamins starts with random uh, like seed points uh, and the results of uh, commit execution depends, uh, it's random, so if you're lucky you get good results, if not uh, you're not and um, uh, the result of Kamins execution may differ differ a lot from uh, one execution to another. Uh, but um, uh, the fact that uh, we use signatures and so we, we reduced a lot uh, the amount of um, uh, information uh, we need to cluster. 
uh, we decided to uh, just uh, use um, agglomerative uh, algorithm uh, on signatures. So basically, we just compare um, uh, all distances between all uh, signatures, uh, uh, but we can afford it uh, because um, uh, the amount of data is uh, significantly reduced. Uh, so here, this slide presents um, our, our algorithm uh, as it is now. Uh, so uh, we get um, uh, log files, uh, then we extract uh, signatures for it by using original ex expression. Uh, then we vectorize um, uh, the signatures uh, in space of one, two, three grams. Uh, then we execute um, uh, greedy clustering um, uh, to Jacquard dense clusters. Uh, here we get a set of uh, clusters, and then we execute uh, k-means uh, after it to create um, uh, uh, more, uh, to create bigger clusters. Uh, and at this point, uh, we have additional information we present to uh, to engineers, so they uh, have ability to um, join uh, some cluster into um, uh, one bigger one, into bigger one, or uh, break uh, clusters in two. Uh, of course, the logs uh, come, new logs come uh, every day, so we need uh, a way to like uh, teach our systems with uh, new information. Uh, it uh, looks uh, similar to initial process looks similar to processing new logs. Um, uh, for, uh, so we extract signatures, we vectorize, um, uh, uh, and uh, then uh, we have three choices. Uh, if we see that uh, this is new um, uh, signature, which uh, in uh, this one to three gram space, uh, then we add uh, a new dimension because we may have new words, new uh, n-grams, and we need to raise, um, and some station we need to raise the dimension of um, our space. Um, uh, then we calculate uh, distance told signatures uh, and uh, see if it falls uh, in one of existing cluster or uh, if uh, it forms uh, uh, new clusters. Again, we keep this information if uh, new cluster was created uh, or uh, if, it's, uh, if it fitted in one of existing cluster because it's important for uh, co-engineer, we'll talk about it um, uh, later. Uh, and as I said, uh, we have some uh, human classification to aid our system uh, because sometimes uh, 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 clusters which are removed from mathematical uh, point of view still repre represent the same problem from um, uh, co-engineer perspective. And so we need um, uh, ability to join uh, uh, such clusters. Uh, how uh, can it be used? Okay, uh, okay engineer uh, can look uh, for new errors. So when, uh, when we test uh, a software, um, uh, uh, sometimes we can, see, we can see that something is wrong or our te test perform well. For example, if, if we perform uh, non-functional test, we just load a system with a big amount of data and we don't, uh, usually don't um, check all responses from the system. Uh, but what is good about the logs, uh, so if there are some error which application the test can detect, uh, it, this application will log uh, it in log file. And our, uh, what we need to do is just to get this information from a log file. And if it's some new, new error which we haven't observed before, uh, our system will be able to uh, tell it um, uh, about it uh, to create engineer uh, because it's uh, from uh, mathematical point of view, it means that new cluster has formed and it means that uh, new error which we haven't observed before um, is um, happened in the system and it's what uh, we need to um, uh, to investigate and probably report uh, to the company which creates the software we test. Uh, another uh, thing is uh, uh, again, uh, because we perform more or less the same test um, day, um, on a daily basis, uh, we may s compare um, uh, the number of different uh, errors which appears uh, uh, in uh, log files. Uh, 
so if um, uh, system start to behave differently, we will see different distribution of uh, these errors uh, in a log file. Again, we, we test, uh, usually test the system which are not yet stable and uh, there are some known errors uh, and uh, we need to, uh, because it's known errors, we just need to ensure that they're still there if uh, they're not fixed. Uh, if uh, they're fixed, we, we need to see what uh, the uh, class, and there are no new messages uh, in um, the cluster related to the errors uh, and so on. And besides uh, testing, uh, this can be used uh, even on uh, production systems uh, because as I said, um, currently uh, big uh, cloud-based um, uh, system, they can create uh, uh, error, um, they can uh, add error entries to log files even do, do during normal operations. Uh, but uh, the picture how uh, which errors are uh, during this uh, normal uh, uh, daily cycle it should remain the same and uh, if uh, uh, this uh, like footprint of the uh, daily cycle changes it means that uh, there's something wrong uh, with application uh, which uh, probably needs to be addressed for example again if uh, uh, one of the components uh, starts to fail, uh, modern systems are able to just restart it and uh, usually it comes unnoticed to um, uh, end users and um, mm, the system looks like operational. Uh, but uh, our um, um, uh, log analyzer can uh, see it, uh, it will present that uh, new, uh, either new log um, errors appear toward the distribution have changed, uh, uh, so the system operators uh, will be able to see what something is wrong. Uh, for implementation, uh, we um, uh, uh, we need uh, so uh, the the people who use uh, it ask us to add some functionality to it. Um, uh, so with, uh, these are the questions uh, which are usually uh, asked. Um, uh, from us, so what new clusters appear today, what uh, cluster appeared uh, on some days uh, but haven't appeared on some another day, uh, when uh, first, uh, when uh, some entry in the cluster appeared um, first time during the day and how often, and uh, what cluster does this long line uh, belong to. Uh, do it, uh, we have, uh, uh, added some databases uh, to our system, so we store our signatures and uh, cluster range in uh, MySQL database. Uh, uh, model storage, um, uh, we currently don't uh, store uh, the original info data. We're working at it, but it's um, another project. Um, uh, and um, uh, we separate our processes, so initially we parse uh, all information after parsing, um, uh, signature extraction goes to MySQL, then we perform clustering and um, this database is connected with um, uh, user interface uh, from which um, uh, our users can query all uh, all the data and get um, all the information about um, system behavior from a log perspective. Uh, these are screenshots um, how our system uh, looks currently. Uh, that's all. Uh, do you have any questions?